So maybe you, some of you have actually done this. You have a rain gauge and uh, your weather buffs have gone out there because it's important to know how much precipitation occurred where keeping track of that sort of thing. So uh, it's not as easy as you might think to get how many inches of rain fell. Um, so here are kind of a sampling. I'll show you some pictures of, of what goes along with those. A simple rain gauge would just be um, a cylinder. And then you measure how many inches of rain fell like, like that. Um, then a standard rain gauge, though, puts a funnel on the top and then accounts for the diameter being larger here than it is on the, in the measuring part. Um, so that's the standard rain gauge. Then you can get kind of fancy. The next one is actually a tipping bucket gauge. And this would be something like in those automated surface observing systems they have near airports. So base they might have. So basically what it does is it collects a certain amount of rain and it knows how many inches of rain that is, a fraction of an inch of rain, and then it dumps it and it records that dump. You can kind of see the recorder over there. Then it collects some more and it dumps that and it collects more and dumps that, that sort of thing. Um, so there are problems associated. There's uncertainty in every measurement. And in measuring the, the inches of rainfall, there a lot of things can happen. <laughs> so for instance, your gauge can have leaks in it. Um, the, the energy of the water can splash in the collecting device and then you lose some of your water. Um, you can have wind blowing and then you don't get a good, um, uh, uh, you don't get a good reading either. So generally those biases are low, so inches of rain would be kind of tend to be low. This actually is a rain gauge, but can you kind of see those little uh, kind of flaggy looking things? Those are supposed to help fight one of the things that makes uh, rain gauges incorrect is wind. So those are kind of wind guards. Uh, measuring snow can be problematic too. <laughs> you know, you get the wind to blow a little bit and then where do you measure it? The drift or where it's not been drifted away? Um, so that's a problem. One of the things that I think is always interesting is when you get a snow event, you're like, oh, we got 12 inches of snow. I'm glad that wasn't rain because it would have been, you know, this much rain. So the conversion between snow to what it would have been if it were rain, inches of rain, um, you can see at the bottom there it can go from um, 30 inches of snow to equal one inch of rain to four inches of snow to equal one inch of rain. And you guys know this if you've been around many snow events. Some snow is fluffy, some snow is dense. Uh, but generally speaking, for every 10 inches of snow, the guideline would be that that would translate to one inch of, of rain. So. Um, now, we can uh, measure precipitation indirectly. And when you look at radars, I don't know if you can see that radar image down there, um, you might be familiar with kind of the angry looking red. That's where there's a lot of precipitation. Kind of surrounding that is yellow. It looks like kind of maybe uh, some sort of front uh, two air masses meeting, creating a front of precipitation here, a line of precipitation, I guess I should say. Um, the green needs even less precipitation than the yellow, and the blue even less precipitation than that. Now, the way they're getting those precipitation amounts are indirect, um, indirect relative amounts is basically they have a radar that's sending a signal into, into where it's precipitating, and if there is precipitation, that, um, that signal that was sent by the radar returns to the radar. Now, the more the precipitation, the more the echo, the more the return. So not much precipitation, at least they get some signal back. No precipitation, and the signal goes on and it never returns, okay? So they don't get any echo back, so they know there's no precipitation. So this is an indirect way to measure a precipitation.